Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with Morris. That's me. And at the end of the last episode, we were on our way up the 7,000, 7,000 7, even, steps uh, to see the Greybeards. That's right, we're still on our way. It's the longest journey anyone has ever travelled on. Hey there. How's it going? Yeah. I don't know what this question is about. Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovakin? I didn't hear. What, I was what just is that? How do I know Irish that happened? When it happened. It's an exciting oh, wait, moment. no, I remember. Nothing that big like shout. Oh, you, I get it, yeah. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. A pilgrim. I prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Okay, what are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. Yeah, seems everyone around here is doing that. I trip every few years. Great. Mm. Emblem four. Kine, Keen, I think that's Kine. Called on, uh, so many names. You pitted man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged. Dragon against tongue. Let's see. See, I don't meditate. I'm not, I'm not into the whole that. Me, just read it. Boom, get in, get out. That's what it's all about. <laughs> uh, how many, how many thousand steps are we on yet? Three thousand, four thousand? At least there's no not not too many enemies up here, just just wolves and that. That's fine with me. Oh crap, of course. As soon as I say that, something jumps out of the darkness. What is that? What is that waiting for me? Can I hit it from here? Come on. I think I hit Oh god. Great. Frost Troll, uh Ah, oh, man. My arrows do nothing. Oh, come on, Lydia. What's, what's the matter with you? You have to protect me. That's, that is your role. Ah, she is so low on health. Ah, oh, this is not good. Ah, oh, this is gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. Okay, let's go, 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 go. I'm running. Have fun, Lydia. You, uh, you enjoy yourself now. Uh, uh, there's no time. Uh, gotta get out of here. Uh, it's following me, I think. Uh, it's every man for himself in Skyrim. Do I go up there, or do I keep going this way? I seem to be heading downwards. Is that a bad thing? Uh, is a troll following me? Uh, maybe I should heal while I have the chance. Whew. Uh, I'm looking good, looking good. Okay, now I can fight it again. It's still following me. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. Okay, so I think Lydia's dead. And I also missed one of those uh, things, so let's let's pretend I didn't. Emblem six, with roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice. Whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Yeah, so it was kind of a, just a short history of what's what happened in the old days. <coughs> uh, part of me thinks that maybe I should have done a few more side quests before I came this far. <laughs> So I can actually beat the- oh, I leveled up, didn't I? So I can actually beat the trolls, but, uh, nah, it's fine. Should we go with health? Probably. Can we get him battered? Two-handed, one-handed, archery. I'm gonna go with archery again. 30. 30. 40. Uh, it's gonna take ages. 50. Oh, well. Let's make them, uh... Even more powerful. 60% more damage. Why can I not increase that again? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's still not right. Oh well. Maybe it's just blocking that off for no reason. Okay, increase armor rating. No. Why did I just do that? Uh, sneak? No. No, 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 no. Maybe I should just do one-handed. 
seeing as that's that's sort of the skill I use uh, instead of instead of archery. Forty percent more damage. That's pretty good. Fighting stance. Power attacks with one added weapons cost twenty five percent less stamina. That's pretty good actually. Now nah, we'll do forty percent more damage. Boom. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, another stone. Here we go, here we go. Oh, did I miss another one? Whoops. Emblem Emblem 8. Jurgen Windcalder. Who? Could show silence and return the 17 disputants. Wait, the, no. Called chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. None of this makes any sense. <laughs> Absolutely none. You really have to read around the subject to understand really what's going on. Or listen, that probably helps as well. Ah, part of me is just tempted to jump off right here. Maybe on another playthrough. But not now. Ah, oh, this must be it. This must be the temple of the Greybeards. So is Lydia just knocked out? <laughs> I'm kind of worried. Do I get assigned another another bodyguard? Ah, well. It's fine now. I'm alright as long as I'm amongst civilization. Oh, what's in this large sack? Green apple. Yes. <laughs> More green apples. Thank you. Wait, what's that? Potato. Potion of minor healing. Dragon's tongue. Oh, that's a flower. Forget that. Alright, let's get inside this bad boy. <laughs> Level 6. I'm doing so well. I'm amazed at myself. Oh, here we go. Hello there. So... Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Yep, that's me. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Demonstrate your unrelenting force shout. Do you want me to... Oh, it's Lydia! <gasps> Thank God, I'm so glad you're here. Your shout will not harm us. Oh! <laughs> you asked. <laughs> Welcome Your shout will not harm us. Wait, no! <laughs> not directly into my face. I am Master Angir. <laughs> I speak for the Greybeard. And you have a grey beard. No, tell this me, is exactly Dragonborn. what I wanted. Why a great big here? bushy beard. Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar. The slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I see. I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Well, I knew that much. Since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not. I ours. bet there's someone else who is. You and they're like the amazing. That has been revealed and then they die. <laughs> that is all I can say. I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment oh, brilliant. of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way. So that's just another way of saying, I don't know. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. Teach me. Without training, you have already oh, be it of taken steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a 
rush out a boom. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. I'm willing. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Oh, nice. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Whoa. Teach me. Wait, do I have to talk to him or, or what? Uh, has he just taught me how to do it right now? Nice. But I'm not saying anything really, I'm, I'm concentrating. <laughs> you must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Nice. Oh, is that when you charge up the shout? Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new Okay, what? What do I have to do? Demonstrate unrelenting force shout. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. What targets? Where? What? Nice. That is cool. Give me another. Give me another. <laughs> well done. Come on. Again. Here we go. Stand aside, Lydia. Yes. Let's get a third person one here. Just. You learn quickly. Come on. Once Give me more. a third. Nice. Oh, look at that. I blew all those pots away. <laughs> Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon Ball. Ah, it was easy. I just pressed R2. So what's next? We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. You got it. Where's Bori? Here we go. Hey, Bori. I'll call him Barry. That's a bit more current. So, how long have you been working here, Barry? Not the talkative type? That's fine. Check this out. Force is wrong. Eh? Eh? Ah, you've probably seen it before. <sighs> Courtyard. Let's go. And call me crazy, but I think I level up slightly every time I go through a door. <laughs> Seriously. Slight, ever so slight. I might, I might just be seeing things. Just from running around and general goings on, I seem to be leveling up. Only a small amount, though. Anyway. What's the next trial? We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master like Bori will teach you David Attenborough. Which means whirlwind. Whirlwind. Whoa. Whoa. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a Who's story. talking? <laughs> oh yes, whirlwind, whirlwind sprint. Brilliant. Well, I just gave you one reason to join me for the next episode. <laughs> this has been The Elder Scrolls Skyrim with Morris. Join me for the next episode, guys, where I'm just going to shout this entire mountain down. <laughs> I'll see you later.